So this 
FMG theta. So this is the resonance force. That means what is the acceleration? Acceleration is equal to force by mass. So force by mass becomes g theta. Okay. So this acceleration, this can be written as g two x g t two, where x is the displacement, p is the time. So g two x g t two is equal to g theta. But you have to write this g theta with a negative sign because this is acting in the opposite direction. So with a minus sign you have to write the same thing. And this is acceleration and this is force. So since this is acceleration, so you have to multiply this by mass for the calculation of force a into acceleration. So this is so this becomes what d t x d t two. Plus g by k into theta is equal to zero. And you know the equation for simple harmonic motion is g two x d t two plus omega square x is equal to zero. Okay. And here theta is how much? For this case, theta is equal to this is theta. So the theta is equal to what? This is x. Length of the arc is x. So x divided by k. So theta is equal to actually x by k. So in the next line you can write d by k is equal to g by k. G by k into x by k. Okay, is equal to zero. So compare this equation with this one. We can write what? We can write omega. This is equal to what? Root over of g by m. Root over of g by m. Oh, sorry. I have already made a mistake. Sorry. I am extremely sorry. I have already made a mistake. This is force, and this is only acceleration. Finding to multiply this acceleration by what? Mass. Okay. Sorry. You need to make this correction here. Okay. G theta m. So since here a is present, here also a is present, so they will be cancelled. So a will not appear here. Only g theta. Only g theta will be appear. So a will not be there. G x by l and here a will not be there. Only root over of g by l. This is omega. Okay. Then continuous of oscillation. You know, continuous of oscillation is a visible. Continuous of oscillation is equal to two pi by omega. You know this. Continuous of oscillation. So now we put the expression for omega. So we will get what? Two y and two root over of two by two. This is continuous of oscillation and frequency of the oscillation. We know that frequency is the reciprocal of time period. So frequency is equal to f is equal to one by three and that will be equal to one by two by into root over of g by a. So these are the expressions required.